Hey guys, this is Ashley, and you guys are watching Ashley Epidemic, and I am here to show you guys my BTS collection. I'm quite proud of my collection, um, but yeah, let's just go ahead and jump right into it. I'm not going to show you the photo cards right now. They are in a separate book, but if you are interested in those photo cards, please let me know in the comments down below, and I will do a photo cards. I am planning on doing a full k-pop collection video soon as well as my full photo card collection but if you'd like to see one specifically with just the bts cards and i'll talk a little bit more about where i got all of them then go ahead and let me know but let's just go ahead and let's jump into my collection so as you can see up top i do have what is my my little wall that i call and I absolutely love this. I made it myself and I collected all eight of the Young Forever cards. Young Forever was the first album that I ever collected from them because it came out, it was the first album that came out after I became a fan. So yeah, this was what I managed to do. I collected all of them and I put them on a board. Um, this is actually plexiglass and everything so it actually is really nice but it is heavy so I don't have it hung. I just have it plastered right here but I think it's a nice little offset for the bookshelf so I do like its placing but like I said I do have all eight of the photo cards as well as those are just Young Forever um, Lomo cards that I had ended up getting that I placed on either side of the official posters which I put, put in there. So yeah um, I do have all eight of the Young Forever cards which whenever I show my album I you won't see them obviously because they are on here. <laughs> but okay let's move on to the rest of the albums so the way i have my collection set up i have the albums except for the summer package up top and then down below i have pretty much all of their dvds and extra other stuff that is released so starting out we have the albums and so first up we have I'm not going to pull them out just because it is a very tough tough spot, but I will move things around so you can see them a bit better. But I do have Too Cool for School. This was the one of the albums that I bought later on. I think it was one of the later albums that I bought when I was collecting. Um, yeah, there's no photo card with Too Cool for School, at least because I didn't get that first press. Um, then there's Oh Are You Late 2 followed by School Love Affair. I do not have the School Love Affair Special Edition, um, unfortunately. Then over here, it's kind of hard to see, and I will slide this BTS little poster here out of the way so you can see it, but right here is, we'll pull this one out. It is tight. It is dark and wild. So that is that first, uh, the first full album. Um, and then we have you know, for the first of the HYYH series, so we have part one, and I have both versions, as you can see, both versions here, and then part two, both versions as well, and I don't want to move this too much because it's going to move the summer package, which is the first summer package that I purchased from them. Um, this was the one that came from when they went to Dubai. This was the one that came out in 2016. Um, then moving on, and I put that there because I needed a space filler and things had couldn't fit on one shelf anymore, but so I needed to move things to two and I needed to take up two shelves and blah, 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 blah. You know how that is. So moving on, um, I have one of my photo, photo books because I do have the photo collection from when they went on the Wings tour. Um, but here we have we have Young Forever, part one and two. These are, like I mentioned, I'm not going to move it just because of the summer package here. But these were the first two albums that I got from them. I got them at KCON when I went to go see them in 2016. Then we have Wings. So I don't know how well you can W-I-N-N-G of Wings. And so there, these are small albums, but I do have all four. And then we have You Never Walk Alone, 
the two versions, which are cool because when they are together, at the bottom you have, it forms the full symbol, which is nice from the wings. And then moving on, we now have Love Yourself. I'm gonna move my army bum. This is the 2.0 army bum, just so you know. So I do have the 2.0 army bum. Okay, um, and so we have her, we have the L-O-V-E, and then now we have Tear, the Y-O-U-R. It's kind of hard to see the Y right now, but um, it is all, now you can see it. See, you can see Love Your. And I'm gonna have to move things around, move that summer package once the self comes out, but it will be nice and you can see how the curves of the flowers so flowers from her and then they flow into this one it's a lot harder to see here just because i do have a black bulk bookshelf here but you can see it kind of from back here how they flow together as well then i have this over here which is the last item actually no i have one more over there um, but this is the BTS collection. Hi guys, you can see me right now. Hey! Um, but so this is the collection. Of, this is a Korea edition of the best of BTS. And yeah, it's just um, pretty much all of their music videos um, up to the point when this was released. This was released um, last year. Um, early last year so it doesn't have a few things in there and then so next up these are the only two Japan so this is um, wings and I do have two versions they're kind of hard to show but I do have two versions two of the three there were three um, I forget which letter versions I have I think it was like the B and C I think I don't think I have a but I can't remember 100%. But that is that first one. And my cat has knocked down, because she won't leave me alone, and she's knocking everything down on my shelves now. Okay, you can't see that, but she's literally nonstop walking through here and knocking on everything, which she usually doesn't do. So next up, we have the DVD. So this I'm gonna pull out because like, again, it's a black, and this is, as you can see, Memories of 2014. Um, I got one of the last ones that were on, that were available before it went out of stock, so I was very happy that I managed to get it. Then we have Memories of 2015, which I managed to get not long after it came out, so that one wasn't as pressed. Then Memories of 2016, which I ran a group order for, and they have put in for the Memories of 2017 already. I will be running a group order for that, so people who are interested in the U.S., go ahead and go ahead and follow me because I will be running a group order for that as well. So this is now three. This is the only now I have. I did manage to get this one before this one also went out of stock. Um, when I saw that thing that it was starting to go out of stock in certain places, I rushed to get it, even though I wasn't necessarily ready to, but I'm glad I did. It is very pretty, very pretty. Um, but let's slide this back in here and get into the concert DVDs. So the first of the concerts, we have BTS live, BTS live on stage. This is the 2015 version. Um, and yeah, I managed to get this off of somebody. I didn't get a photo card because I did purchase it secondhand, um, but I did manage to get it a super deal. I ended up getting it for only about 30 bucks, which is nice. And that was including the shipping. 30 bucks, guys. 30 bucks. I was very happy. Um, and then we have the epilogue, which was one of the early goes that I ran for BTS. And this is the DVD. So this is a DVD one, um, and then Epilogue also, with Epilogue they started releasing the Blu-ray, so here is the Blu-ray of Epilogue, which I got as well, because it's the same content, but they give slightly different, like, items in it, so like, the DVD has, like, 
the actual photo cards, the Blu-ray gets like these postcards. So I have to get both. Then here we have third muster. And this again, this is the DVD. And then for third muster, they also had the Blu-ray. Again, the same thing. One had the photo cards, one had the postcards. So it is nice with the, um, when you do get the Blu-ray, with the postcards, it does have all members with the postcards. It's never just one member. With the photo cards, you still have to buy an individual one. But the um, Blu-ray usually is like $10 more expensive. So, but I think it's worth it because one, you're getting a Blu-ray, which it look the blue. If y'all have not seen the Blu-rays, the Blu-rays look absolutely stunning, stunning, especially with the concerts. So here's the Wings tour. This is for the Wings and Soul, um, and yeah it's this is yeah so this is the again the dvd it is the thicker one usually what i've noticed is the d the dvd is tends to be thicker and then here's the blu-ray i actually really like the colors on the blu-ray it's really pretty um but yeah so we're moving on then we have the season's greetings 2017 summer package 2017 this one was huge we do have the bts concept book if you guys would like me to do a flip through i could do that at some point and then season's greetings 2018 um i think i did an unboxing of that for you guys but yeah that is my bts collection i also put down the army bomb so i do have the 1.0 army bomb and the 2.0 army bomb um so yeah but that is my BTS collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I just wanted to show you guys. And let me know if you do want to see a, a video of me doing my actual photo cards. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.